what you guys got another video here for you yesterday microsoft released uh the monthly rollout for security patches known as patch tuesday now this was on the 10th of the 11th 2020 and again uh if you've got updates available to you like this here it's your choice whether you want to roll out those updates now these updates are for uh, windows 10 version 20 h2 and they're also for Windows 10 version 2004. So the updates and patches and major fixes are for these updates. Now these updates will uh, fix 112 vulnerabilities, which were patched by Microsoft. 93 of these were rated important and too low in severity. There's also 17 uh, critical bug fixes uh, for these particular updates i will give you some more information on the updates as well about other versions of windows if you are interested that is uh, the 1809 this will be the last update that you will receive and there will be no more updates if you are running 1809 so if you haven't got this update yet then this will be the last one if you're on version 1809 if you're on version 1903 Another update next month, and that will be your last update if you're on version 1903. And basically, that will be it after that. No more security updates will be available for those two versions. Windows 8.1 will also receive these updates. And anyone who is on 1909 and 2004, people keep moaning because I say 2004. It's 2004, but it's the same thing. 2004 or 20 H2, uh, those updates. Uh, will be continued uh, with the Patch Tuesdays and other versions of updates, uh, community of updates uh, by Microsoft as well. Now, if you haven't received these updates yet and you wish to uh, get this as a installer, you can do. You can go over to the Microsoft catalog and download it. Microsoft have made this available for you to go to there and download it. If you want to do it in offline mode, you can do. But you'll see here 32 bit versions and 64 bit versions and ARM 64-bit versions are listed here. And it says for Windows 10 version 1903 or later, and you can download those on that website. I'll leave the link for that in the video description for you if you wish to download it via this method. It's entirely up to you. Now, according to Microsoft, the security advisor for CVE 2020-17087, the zero day uh, resides in the Windows kernel and impacts all currently supported versions of Windows operating system. This includes all versions after Windows 7 and Windows Server distributions. I'll show you the links for this information in a second. Also, Google have disclosed Windows Zero Day exploit in the wild affecting their browser. They have released a update. So if you're running the older version of the browser, you may want to download and install uh, the latest version for Chrome. If you're one of these people that block these updates, then you will be vulnerable to zero day exploit. So definitely uh, get that update available. You can see here the stable channel update for desktops, and it will basically tell you all the information. And this is the latest update here, 86.0.4240.111. And this is for Windows, Mac, and Linux, which will roll out over the next coming days and weeks. You can read all the information about this. Um, also, Microsoft have patched this uh, vulnerability as well. So you're going to have uh, Chrome have already rolled out an update and also Windows as well, which will be covered in this video, which will be the CVE 2020-17087. Uh, and they're all listed here on the Chrome security page. It gives you all the information of what's actually happening and what it actually does. And if you're interested in security, then that might be a little good read up for you. Uh, there's some other information here. What I'd advise you to do is make sure that you have got the latest versions and make sure Windows is updated. Uh, but they will be rolling out these updates up in, in the upcoming days and weeks. So just stay tuned uh, for that one. It's always good to keep updated on this sort of stuff, especially zero day. It's not very good and it's a pretty nasty uh, bug, and they will exploit that. So you definitely don't want that on your system. There's also some information on here as well. 
This does impact Windows 7 users as well, right up to Windows 10. So all of the people that are using Windows 7 up to Windows 10 will be impacted uh, by this problem. So make sure you get updated, especially if you're using Windows 7 as well, uh, which is way outdated now because they're not receiving any updates. Now, I'm not sure whether you'll be able to get it through this method here by just going to that link on that article and then clicking download Chrome. And hopefully this will update you to the latest version. If it doesn't, it will automatically update. If not, you can always check the about Google Chrome like I showed you a bit earlier on in the video and it should have an update and it should automatically update via that method as well. So this update includes five security fixes for that browser. Now there's a few people in the comment section that come from certain other YouTube channels that will make waves on my comment section saying that I'm spreading fear just to get views and all this is fake. But remember this stuff is coming from Google and also Microsoft's website. This is a genuine information video for updates and security patches and fixes. That's why I've added some of these pages in the video so you can actually see the source where they've come from and me giving you that information and trying to keep you informed. So let me just go over this one more time so you can be clear of what updates you will receive for what version of Windows you've got. If you're using version 1909, 2004 or 2004, whatever way you want to call it, and 20H2, uh, these updates will be rolled out to you and you'll be getting more continued updates in the foreseeable future. If you're using 1809, this is the very last update you will receive. 1903, this is the penultimate update. So you'll get one more next month of these security updates or patch Tuesday updates. And if you're running Windows 8.1, you will also receive these updates as well. So just to be clear, uh, all these updates will be driven out to all of those uh, users that are using those versions of Windows 10. It can be a bit confusing to some people. You'll get people on the internet saying that you'll be at risk. You'll be vulnerable if you don't update. Everyone gets these updates with, with those versions of what I've just told you there. So it's just misinforming people when people say things like that on the internet. They don't realize what they're talking about because they just build computers. And you can clearly see it listed here for 20H2, 2004, 1909, and 1903. And it just goes through the Windows server and it will tell you exactly who is going to receive these. And that's what it says on this list here. So I'm just showing you this just to make sure that people understand that everyone will get these. Now, some people need to physically click on the install to get some of these and uh, you will then receive those updates. So let's talk about the downsides, drops in frames per second, and also other issues like freezing and stuttering when playing games, especially if you have got these graphics cards that are listed here. People that are running version Windows 10 20 H2 have said they have seen uh, performance drops in uh, their systems once they've updated to 20 H2. A lot of these people have rolled back to 2004 Another little bug is this little Windows 10 bug where it says no internet connection. And basically this is on Windows 10 2004. Uh, what it does is basically you'll get the icon saying no internet connection. And uh, you will probably still be connected to the internet, but it is a known issue. I think Microsoft are looking into it to try and roll out a fix for it. But it's just one of the many little bugs you get on Windows 10. So this is the part of the video where we talk about bugs and again, uh, people always ask me what version I'm running. So we're going to be talking about uh, bugs in this part of the video. Let me know in the comments section below what version of Windows you're running and if you're receiving any sort of bugs in that version and what sort of bugs are they that's happening with your version of Windows 10. That will always help other people that read the comments. What version of Windows 10 am I running? I am running Windows 10 version 2004 or 2004, whatever version you want to call it. That's the version I am running right now. Yes, I will update these vulnerabilities for that version. I will not roll out to 20H2 just yet. I'll hold off just a little bit longer and then I will update to that version. I'll let you know when I update to that version. But yes, I am running 2004 on my main system. And after I've done all them updates, I've had no problems. The only problem I'm getting is a little bit of intermittent internet issues. Uh, and that sometimes always happens with my machine 
whether what version I'm running. I'm always getting a little bit of a glitch, and I don't know whether it's something to do with Windows 10 or the network drivers with Windows 10. It doesn't seem to like it. I get a loss of connection and some weird activity going on with my internet. Other than that, it's been pretty trouble-free. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this video. A big thank you to all my YouTube members that have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Let us know what your plans for updates are in the comments, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.